Hello everybody and welcome to Indie Shock. So today we are looking at Drunken Robot Pornography. One of the cleanest games on the internet. But also one of the best soundtracks ever. Well, let's just take a moment to enjoy this. Right, anyway, that's enough of that. As you can see on the bottom, this is a pre-release here, and I was luckily enough, lucky enough to actually receive a copy. So, what the game is. The game is basically a arena shooter, uh, score attack mode, and it's all based on killing things really fast. Uh, the story behind it is very hard to kind of comprehend. Uh, from what I've picked up so far, you got your barman drunk, and they were a robot, and then they, this happened. What does the sign say? Closed, closed by order of the Boston Fire Department. Why? About a week ago, your head robot bartender, Tim, went berserk, burned the place down, and he took 12 of your robot dancers. Ah. He built them into giant, ro <laughs> into giant robot bodies and now trying to destroy Boston. That's what you are now fighting. Ah. So yeah, that's basically the story behind the game. Uh, you're fighting off your giant drunken robot serv um bar maids. Now this game has a very tongue-in-cheek sort of humour which I just really much enjoy. Look here. Oh my god. Oh god. What a mess. You can't even fit inside. Leave or leave in a huff. Now leave in a huff. Life somehow diminished for its futuristic lack of ability to slam a door. You hit the close button and the door sh slides shut behind you quietly. Now the game, you play through levels like this and Oops, sorry, nearly skipped the level. Uh, you play through the levels one through, as you could kind of guess. And yes, it's an arena shooter, and most of its comedy comes out of the reading. Reading these little things and stuff here, you can get a lot of enjoyment out of it. I will not give my robot bartenders a sentience, causing them to raise a mechanized army and attack Boston. I will not give my robot bartender sentience causing to raise mechanized army and attack Boston. So as you can see it's kind of the writing on the chalkboard sort of thing for a bad mistake that you've done. Now as you can see here it gives you your stats. Random stats apparently but also I've only played through the level once so this is just my total stats actually for this challenge. Uh, the objectives down here destroy the titan and you have a time lift as well and also as you can see this is the leaderboard now this is on normal difficulty i haven't tried any other difficulties uh, i might need to lower the difficulty of course because this game gets really hard really fast let's get in shall we right as you can see here eliminate the titan wasd to move space to jetpack and everyone loves jetpacks and aim and to shoot with a mouse click and as you can see destroy extremities first so basically what you have to do I love that as well it is an alpha test it has an alpha test jazz hands screen right that person you heard speaking was our character now this is a titan this is the giant robot bodies which we kind of released onto the earth what you've got to do of course as you can see is build destroy them from the extremities inwards these do get more complicated as you play, and you end up fighting hundreds of things at once. So basically, you shoot off all the things, and there we go! So that's a very basic, as you can see, that's the first level. It does get a lot harder, um, and also every now and again you'll get these little things here, which are very, very fun. As adds adventures. Insert Martini to start. Well, basically that's a little thing where you play as an octopus... I don't know, the game's mascot I think it is. It's really adorable. Uh, you play as the octopus and you attack stuff by shooting stuff. Because that's kind of the sort of general consensus of this. Now, what we're going to do, we'll go to some of these levels here. We'll have a look at these and we'll also have a look at the Battle Royale mode. Uh, they have weekly challenges, kind of like Spelunky. So, we're going to have a look at some of these, shall we? Uh, I have, If I can remember correctly, Core Tower was one of my 
favourites. I say this and I'm probably going to get annihilated. As I say, these games ramp up in difficulty quite fast. Ah, this one. I like this one. Now, as you can see, you get pickups, you get martinis, and also you get... It's kind of a good normal start, you know. There's little enemies off to the side, here and there, and as you can see, the radial compass will give you all the directions of your enemies. As you can see, it kind of gathers up fast a lot of stuff, and also you fall off level. If you run out of jetpack, which I tend to run out of jetpack quite a lot. Now, I like this level, um, personally, because it's quite simple, and I'm a simple person, and I like simple ones because I can kill them easy and not die very many times. So basically, yeah, as you can see, this isn't really demonstrating the difficulty of the game very much, but the levels are diverse, they all have jump pads and jetpacks and everything else, and as you can see, the game is built around speed and score kill things fast, you get more points, and also, yes, you've kind of got to pay attention to a lot of things at once, because as you can see up there, there's some point, there's some power-ups, and my gun is very weak without power-ups. Very much weak indeed, unless of course you are accurate, which I am not. Let's just take the triple fire, the heavy shot fire, and the splinter fire, and look at this thing go now. So one thing you will have to remember with this game is power-ups are key, without them you will fail. Well that's one titan down. <laughs> yeah, the, some levels have multiple titans, like this one. And yes, that is firing giant laser beams of death. Uh, if those touch you, they will do colossal levels of damage. Now as you can see, that's one of my favourite ones, because I can do it quite easily. Now, uh, let's show off one of the ones that I can't do that easy. One that's very bad, if I remember correctly. I think this one's uh, one of the problematic ones that I have. Uh, yes, this this is one of... Look at that! No, nope. That's how fast you can die. <laughs> yeah... We'll have, we'll have a go. You have 40 seconds to take down that Titan. Now, the way that you do this, um, the way that I've kind of found, is get that as fast as possible and then start shooting off these extremities because you need a bit of breathing space very fast. Oh yeah, 28 seconds left. Uh, as I say, this game is extremely fast paced. And I'm near enough dead already again. Not that hard, but, you know. <laughs> It's very fast space. It's one of those ones that you have to have practice, and with practice makes perfect. Now, let's move on, shall we? We'll move on to this one. I haven't actually played this one before. Elablate solar collectors generate energy for the food courts, which generates revenue to replace the ablate solar collectors, which needed to generate the energy for the food court. Yeah, they kind of have a very bad tongue twister thing going on here. As you can see, jazz hands. I, I love the loading screen. <laughs> now, as you can hear, you have a sort of sassy talking robot friend, I, from what I can understand, who kind of just gives you very unhelpful information. Uh, as you can see, some of the levels do not immediately throw you straight into a titan. You've got to get a certain number of points before the titan will spawn. Which is... it adds to the gameplay. Oh, crap. And also, you can add to the gameplay of falling off the level as well. If, of course, you are as bad as I am. Now, just got to cover the place in fire. Okay, right. I fell off the level again. Oh my god! Okay, as you can see, these guys do get insane, and those little bubbles, uh, if you stand aside of them, you will take damage very fast. Ooh, a martini. Now, you get points for picking up martinis, because, you know, everyone loves a martini. Ooh. And as I say, some of the levels, it does increase in difficulty, but some of the levels, you know, aren't that hard. Some of them are pains in the rectum. And it has some funny references as well. Where's my car? I think we'll go for one more story mission, and then we'll check out the weekly challenge. Something that I haven't done either.
<laughs> yes, um, this game has a very different sense of humour. I like it. I like it so much. Oh, God, Jeeves. Oh, crapping hell. This got bad fast. <laughs> okay, so there's our, so far the only power up that I've seen. Okay, there we go. 10% of the target types. Oh, crap. You, one thing that you'll realise in this game, you can't sit down for very long. You s sit still and you will die extremely fast. Kind of like what I tend to do at quite a lot. Oh, jeez. <laughs> now, as I say, this game, this is the early access alpha stuff, but this will be released on the day that this video is up. Um, I'll leave a link in the description below, as normal, so you guys can check it out for yourself. And I honestly would recommend this game. Um, of course, unless of course you don't like these types of games, I cannot recommend it then. But, in all honesty, it is friggin' fantastic. It's so fun. And if you are into the sort of old style score attacks, damn it, I screwed up. If you're into the old style score attacks, I would recommend it. It's very twitch shootery score attack style, and I love it. So, as you can see here, it also has the create menu where you can create your own stuff. I haven't actually played with that myself, but I've seen how people have made colossal titans, which I'm probably going to get destroyed by eventually. Now, let's get out and check this thing here. But Royale Weekly Challenge. I don't know what this is, but here we go. Truck and Robot Battle Royale number 7. Can you win? Can you win better than Rohit? Ah, Rohit is the developer, uh, in case you didn't know and wondered. That's why it says can you beat Rohit, because of course Rohit's probably set a colossal score. De developers are normally pretty damn good at their games. I learned from experience. I probably cannot beat them. <laughs> Alright, okay, so 5,000 points still tied in. As you can see in the top corner, there is... There is a 157 timer, but it hasn't seemed to have moved at all. Um, okay then. I, I, don't, I don't mind that. Um, you know, the timer can stay... Oh! God, there's you behind me. Okay, then. Alright. Okay, come on. Die. Um, die faster. <laughs> okay, so this is kind of seeming okay at the moment. Until that thing comes out of here. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Right, better take that. That thing that I just picked up, as you can see, is invincibility. Oh, Jesus. Wow. Wow. Okay, this this game is very flashy as well, is another thing. Come on, blow up! <laughs> blow up, goddammit, I'm trying to avoid everything else in the area. Ooh, flashy. Oh, okay, right, those things can be removed. Fair enough. Just gotta hit them at the right point. Or just pulse them with every bullet, bullet that there is in the game ever. Just pelt them with everything. Throw everything. <laughs> Throw everything, including the kitchen sink. Oh, right, there we go, invincibility. Okay, we're gonna need some more power. Uh, where are you? You, die, please. Give me, give me rapid fire. Just die. <laughs> please, please, Mr. Titan. There we go, we killed one. Okay, we've, we've taken out one, that's a good start. Okay, so the general consensus what I'm getting from this place is don't stop believing. Don't stop believing and you'll hold on to that feeling. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay, may maybe not, maybe not. Just don't don't hold any hope in holding on to any feeling at all, especially in your limbs and stuff after playing this game. <laughs> oh, wow, you, you are big, kind sir. Please don't destroy me. <laughs> Okay, we won. Wow. 84,000. Um, so yeah, from what I can understand, the Battle Royale is basically a weekly challenge where people put themselves against each other and see who can do the best. Now, let's have a look. I have placed 25th. 25th out of 
33 people. I've been on Wonderbot, as you can see that. I'm absolutely ecstatic about that, actually. I wonder if there's anyone else I know on here. Um, let's have a look, let's have a look. Um, hmm. No, no, there's no one else on that. Right, so actually, I've been on Wonderbot, so I think we should end up there on that high note. I've been on Wonderbot. This has been Drunken Robot Pornography, one of the absolutely fantastic indie games that has been coming up recently. It will be released today. The Down in the description below will be the link for this game. And yes, I recommend you to try this out. This is an arena shooter, very fast-paced, very old school, with very funny things. If you read the text, you'll get a laugh, but if you don't, it's not necessary to read the text because you can enjoy the game without it, of course, because it's really fun and frantic. So, I've been the OG Nerd. You guys have been awesome. Thank you for checking this out. Until next time, share love to your faces and ta-ra.